What's up everyone? Uh, today we're gonna go on a journey together <laughs> because we're, sort of, we're doing two things in this video. First and foremost, we are trying some drugstore makeup and we're gonna talk about what I'm trying today in a minute. But I'm also getting ready for a date night and it is one of the first date nights Tyler and I have had since having Felicity six months ago, which is insane, like bordering on seven months ago. Oh my gosh, actually it's closer to seven months. Anyway, I think we've gone on maybe a date night, just the two of us, but the point is I'm really excited. We're going to a nice dinner and we're going to a Broadway like touring show. It's Anastasia, if you're curious. So I'm super pumped, but I need to get ready and we leave in like two hours, no big deal. But the makeup I've decided to try today, probably to my own detriment, we'll see is a bunch of drugstore makeup. Now, I'm not saying this look is not gonna be beautiful because it's drugstore, because you already know drugstore is one of my, like I have so many drugstore favorites. But these are all products that I have like a drawer in my little storage closet here of makeup to try eventually. Like things that I'm somewhat interested in that I've saved, whether I've bought it, whether it was PR from the past, whatever. Well, these are all the products that have been in there for so long and I keep, every time I go in that drawer to pick out things for a video, I skip over them every time. These are them. <laughs> so we're just gonna try it. These are things that basically I have the lowest amount of interest in. <laughs> from the drugstore. So some of these, well, you'll, I'll explain each one. I, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So let's start with our primer, shall we? This is the Neutrogena Radiant Primer Serum. I hauled this a while ago and I, as far as I can remember, still haven't tried it because it was back in that drawer. And if I've tried it, I don't put it back in there. So it's a primer serum. It's supposed to be kind of glowy, right? But it doesn't look to be too well, that looks like straight up shimmer. Oh boy. We're going to be covering it in foundation so it's not as big of a deal. But if I'm going to put on like a primer serum, I typically would want it to be a little like not shimmery. I, I like the glow, but like an actual shimmer is not usually what I'm wanting for something all over my face, you know? It's okay. Let me show you the consistency of this because I think that'll kind of tell the story. So it's lightweight, but it's very, very like watery which I don't mind in something like this. Might as well pop a little bit more on. I feel like if it's too thick, it can get a little bit tacky and then sometimes it'll like kind of pill up. And so that's not always desirable either. So it's just one of those things I don't feel like it's mind blowing. We'll see how it looks underneath the foundation. The foundation, okay. First of all, what do you think about when you see this? Like this bottle, this shape, this packaging. This makes me think of my wonderful mother's makeup bag in the 90s <laughs> and I mean that in an awesome way like it gives me all of those childhood nostalgic feels I remember sitting and like smelling her makeup and it smelled exactly like this oh exactly like it so this is covergirl's clean liquid foundation I don't know exactly if this has always been their clean line or if it's had different names if this is like an old school formula or not I really don't know I'm just gonna try it because I had quite a few shades in there. This must have been sent to me in PR long ago. So I need to figure out what shade would make the most sense for me here. I'm seeing one of my sisters this weekend. Well, I'm seeing all of them, but one of them I promised to let her go through some of my makeup and take some and three of the four shades that I'm not using are gonna go to her. I'm thinking this one, this was 120. That definitely seems uh, about right, but let me try this one just in case. 130, I'm just gonna put it there. Oh. No, that, it's hard to tell, but I'm almost thinking this one, this is 130, but it looks lighter than those. It's like a different tone. Okay, so we're gonna go with 130 and just kind of see, cause it's got more of like a, I, th I think a neutral tone. I'm gonna throw on, this is the Tatcha Kisu lip mask that I love. I'm trying to think of like what other products that my mom always had in her makeup bag. Like it was always CoverGirl. I really don't remember a lot of other brands. Like what was it about CoverGirl? They just had a stranglehold on so much in the 90s and early 2000s. This might be a really good shade match. We're gonna find out. Ooh, Don't love this kind of bottle. You know, it just is what it is um, with no pump or anything, but they're certainly not the only brand that does, does that. But my mom always applied it, if I remember right, mom, if you're watching, with like her, you know, the everyone used them, and people still use them today, the white like triangular little sponges that you use and eventually throw away, you know. But I don't, I feel like I remember her wearing powder all the time. I don't know that she wore full on foundation every day. I don't know. Mom will have to ask you. It definitely does have a strong smell. Again, it's a nostalgic smell, so it's enjoyable right now, but 
I think if I were using this every single day, I could definitely see myself getting sick of it pretty quickly. That looks not bad. It definitely has light. I think it has lighter coverage than I expected. I actually expected it to have a little bit more. Let me put on a second layer and just see. This is a great shade match for me though. Like tone wise, it's really nice. But yeah, this is definitely lighter than I expected. Coverage, not shade. And obviously if you use a brush, it'd be not as washed out, but this, it's not looking bad. I mean, what are you guys thinking seeing this on camera? And I'm sure some of you guys out there absolutely use this product all the time and you love it. So let me know if that's you. What, have you used it for years? Is this a different formula? It look, it looks nice. I feel like also with that primer, like maybe the primer's making it look really nice, but this is the kind of look I like. I like my skin to look like this. So now CoverGirl, I'm just gonna need you to, if you're not gonna sell it with the pump, at least sell a pump you could buy separately to put on it. Like if you want to make money on it, okay, whatever. I am like, I've been sleeping on this for so long and I really am liking the way it looks. So that's pretty cool. I don't have a concealer to use here. So let me throw on some concealer and brow and I'll be right back. So another, I'm a little torn. I have a couple things in front of me. Another thing I feel like I've been avoiding trying and I really don't know why um, are these little hard candy palettes. And I recently heard... I've actually heard a couple people say that these are actually really good. So I'm like, all right, Jesse, come on, pull them back out. Um, I think these are newer too. So I don't think they've been sitting in that drawer for too terribly long. I feel like hard candy <laughs> had such a moment like 10 years ago, maybe even longer, I don't know. And it was awesome. Like they had so many good products. And then I really just have not heard a lot. Every once in a while I'll hear like a product here and there. Um, but I also don't find myself in a Walmart very often. There's not one super close to me. And I think that's a part of it. If I were in Walmart more often, maybe it'd be more on my radar. So that's my own thing. But anyway, this one is definitely up my alley. This is their Moods monochrome shadows. So I think the idea is that it's all based on like kind of a monochrome look. Um, we're just going to play with it. So these are very inexpensive, which is awesome. Not looking bad. It looks, I mean, this is a really pretty shimmer. For this, around this price point, same vibe, there's the e.l.f. Bite Size uh, quads as well. So to me, I'm kind of mentally comparing this to that because if they're similar price and the same thing, like if one of them is noticeably better, then that's the one I'm going to gravitate towards and recommend to you guys. But this shadow is looking really pretty. I, this is like one of my favorite colors of eyeshadow. There's no doubt about it. Like I, if you see me in real life, this is pretty much always what I'm <laughs> <laughs> what I'm wearing and usually just like a one shadow look but today we'll go in with the like kind of mauve shade here yeah these are performing really nicely we'll put something a little bit deeper in the outer corner since we are going on a date tonight not that you need to be going on a date to do that but you know how that I've realized more and more like now especially with two kids but even just with one and I feel like even if we didn't have kids, as you like get further into your careers and further into just life, living alongside someone, you find yourself like talking about less important things more and more. So we're trying to make sure we like, do you know what I mean? Like we'll talk about day to day things like, oh, who, wh who's doing this, you know, but we have to carve out time to like actually talk about like real things. So we've been, I think, doing pretty good about that this time around with Felicity is like actually talking about stuff which is nice um but i am very excited to just go have some fun with him so far this is performing i mean similar to how high-end shadows perform you know like i don't feel like it's drastically like worse or anything like that i'm gonna take this darker shade and just tap it on the outer corner here and then we'll kind of blend it a bit it's a pretty color yeah there's a little bit of fallout because it is a little bit um kind of chunky not super chunky. I almost hesitate to say that word, but it definitely has a little bit of fallout. So just be aware of that. Maybe do your face makeup first or live life with reckless abandon like I do and just deal with it. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit of the deeper, kind of tap it in that outer area. I definitely feel like I look a lot older when I do darker shadows. Um, and I think that's a personal thing. I don't think that's true for everyone, but it's just something I feel like I've noticed about myself. What do you think? For yourself, do you feel like you look older or younger with darker eyeshadow? Especially when I put it in the outer corner like this, I do feel like it ages me a bit. Not in a bad way, I don't mind looking a little older, but you know what I'm saying. But I don't know that that's true for everyone. What are your thoughts? 
So, I mean, this came together really nicely. I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm excited to get some liner and mascara on because I feel like that always, you know, seals the deal. Okay, we are going on a date, so I'm just gonna throw on, this is something I already own, the e.l.f. little cream shadow. This is in Flirty Birdie. I don't, I don't know which shades they still sell, which ones they don't, but I do think this formula is not bad. It's not like the greatest thing I've ever used, <laughs> but I don't think it's terrible. I usually just tap on a little bit and then move on because if I try to get creative with these, I don't think this formula is super friendly to other things, so I'm kind of choosy about when I use it. I can't stop thing singing. Uh, it's from Bob's Burgers. Date night tonight. <laughs> Gonna go out and have some food. <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty good. You can see a little bit of glitter there. So the next step is mascara. I just put on the, where did it go? It's literally the only pencil liner I have here today. I don't know, I must have taken a bunch of them home. This is the MAC. Costa Riche Eye Coal. It's kind of a pretty like brown shade. I was gonna go over it in liquid liner. I'm like, I actually kind of like it. It's like low key and it ain't perfect, but I think it looks kind of cool. Um, the mascara, I'm kind of cheating because, well, it's not really cheating. This is one I genuinely do want to try. <laughs> it just happened to be in the drawer, but it's a newer addition, so it hasn't lived in there as long. This is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Lash Plumping Mascara. So this says it's a primer, serum, and mascara all in one. I think that's pretty cool. This is the shade black. We're gonna see um, CoverGirl mascaras for me, historically, have been very hit or miss. Some I've absolutely loved and some I've absolutely hated. Again, I know my mom's favorite mascara is the CoverGirl mascara in the blue tube. I don't, I never know what it's called. I think it's like CG Professional. Do they even still sell it? I'm not even sure. But we're gonna try it. Big, big daddy wand. If you like a very, very, very natural lash, this is absolutely gonna be your jam. And I don't think it looks terrible, but y'all know me. I'm like, I love a good volumizing mascara and this is not necessarily it. I'll try a second coat like once it's dried a bit and see if it can build up a little bit. But again, a very, very natural lash. So if that's what you're into, I think you'll really like it. It does look kind of nice and like flirty though. You know what I mean? Like it's really like light and feathery. And it could be the fact that this has hyaluronic acid in it that's kind of making it almost like Glossy is not the word because it's not glossy, but like it's so soft and like oily is not the right word either. I, it's hard to explain, but it just kind of like glides on and off. Like it's not really sticking, which again does give you that very natural look. So I think it's not necessarily my cup of tea for most days, but I do think some people will really, really enjoy the softness of this. Like I can name about three people I know right now that would definitely like this just based on their preferences. But I feel like the brush is confusing because it looks like the kind of brush that's gonna give you crazy volume and you know, it's not. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited to try this. So I like the Colorstay Skin Awaken Concealer. Um, I think it's pretty good for an under eye concealer. Is this the stuff I like? No, I'm pretty sure that it gets confusing because some of them look really similar. I'm pretty sure this is the one I do like, but I was sent in PR a lot of shades and I wanted to try one of the deeper shades for a bronzer and just give her a whirl. I've tried different concealers as like contour bronzers in the past, but I just wanna give it a try. I feel like that shade will be pretty good. I have a lighter one too. Let me try this, just swatch it to see which one might be better. All right, so this, if you're curious, this is the shade 70 and the darker is 75. Maybe I'll go with 70 and just try it. A little nervous. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kinda, let's just start small, Jess, you know, just. Start it small. Forget that this really is a concealer and like not just a bronzer product. So I need to like, the nice thing is it's gonna cover a little bit. So if you're <laughs> if you're using a product that you feel like didn't give the coverage you want, put a concealer on your cheeks and it's, <laughs> I mean, it definitely, it looks pretty good. Let me do it again, but blend it right away with a sponge. Cause I think that might make all the difference. Yeah, I feel like that looks nice. Kind of had to like swatch or like kind of blend it out, I feel like, because now it's like stark and looking odd. So that's on me doing too wide of a blend. You know what I mean? I don't think it looks terrible. I don't know that this is the shade for me. It's maybe a little too orangey tone. It's not an orange tone as it is, but I kind of wish I'd gone with that one. Crap. You know there's a part of me that wants to wipe this often, but then I have to start all over. Let me just go in with a little bit of 75 and just see how that could possibly look. I'll use a different brush. We're gonna be bronzed, a bronzed goddess today. <laughs> Tonight. Yeah, 
I just think that's maybe a little bit of a better tone. And plus I'm getting a little more of a specific blend, you know what I mean, versus a wider. So I think it's good. I think if you can find a tone that would work for you, it'd be really nice. Um, now I have too much on my cheeks, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll be in low lighting. <laughs> but if you were thinking about it, I definitely think the tone of 75 is a little bit more if you're near my skin tone better than 70. So I've also been wanting to try this L'Oreal Glow Paradise Lip and Cheek Tint. So I recently tried one from CoverGirl and I really, really liked it. Um, so I'm excited to try this one. If you want to see my most recent video where I'm trying some new drugstore stuff, I'll link it below. Uh, but yeah, this one is in the shade Madame Pink, number 40. And it says you can use it on your lips. I have something else I want to try, but let's just kind of swatch. Oh, it's more like a jelly. See that? Uh, I guess it is this supposed to be a tint though, so it kind of makes sense. But boy, that's going to be real light. And I feel like it's just going to pull up any makeup I already have down. You know what I mean? This is the kind of product I feel like I'd be more apt to use on a really fresh, like almost bare face. You know what I mean? Like it'd look really pretty over maybe just a BB cream and that's it. You know, but like when I'm trying to do more of a full face of makeup, I, I just don't think it always jives really well. So this is not something I think I'm going to reach for very often, you know? It's okay. Boy, we blasted through that one. Um, this is something that has been sitting in there forever and I don't really know why I've avoided trying it. I think because I don't often use face palettes. I really just don't. And there's something about the way the highlighter in here looks. Every time I would look at it, I could just feel how thin that powder is. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it always like, I don't know. Yep, it's exactly, and it's so gold. It's so, so, so gold. The, yeah, the blush is a shade I would totally like. The bronzer looks like a decent shade for me too. So I might pop a little bit of this blush on just to kind of set that blush. I might not use the highlighter just cause it's not, it's just not calling my name. I might have too much blush on tonight, but that's okay. Yeah, I like the shade a lot actually. I almost wish I could just, well flower, I was gonna say they're little, Flower Pot blushes, their powder blushes are really nice. I think I'd prefer to just buy this like that, you know, but I will try the bronzer just up on my forehead just to kind of give it a, give it a whirl. These are, they kick up a ton of products. So just be aware of that. Oh my gosh. I look like I just came back from a freaking beach <laughs> vacation. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be wearing, I'm changing out of this shirt even though I love this shirt. I'm changing out of it to wear more of like a fall dress like with a turtleneck kind of thing. So I'm gonna look like a bronzed goddess in the fall. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So I think this is okay. I don't think it's bad by any means but it's just super gold highlighter and then those two are, are pretty good. So this is not a new product to me. I already like this but these are shades, especially this one, like a brown shade that I don't always gravitate towards. Um, to be honest, a lot of brown shades kind of intimidate me. So I'll dip my toe and try like peachy browns and I end up usually liking them. So I wanted to try this one. Um, I just feel like sometimes brown can look very odd on my skin tone. That's really, it, it can look so beautiful on other people, but not always on me. But I'm gonna give it a try because I do like this formula, the Milani lipstick. So this one is in the shade Tease. Okay, that's a really pretty brown nude. So not quite as brown as I expected, but really, really pretty. I gotta find a lip liner that'll work. Oh, I think this would work. Creme de la Creme from Sephora. Is that what this is? No, nothing but nude. Perfect. Eh, that's, that's a little pinker, but I think I think we can make it work. Because I'm pretty sure that's as close as I'm gonna get when it comes to nudes. What shade is this? Oh, maybe. There we go. M Cosmetics coming through. Okay. So this is the M Cosmetics Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner in Kitten. I definitely need to like powder my under eye. I feel like I can just see it. So this one's a little bit more of their like more matte formula, I'm pretty sure. It's brown. What are your thoughts? I bet about 50% of you guys are gonna be like, I hate it, and 50% are gonna be like, I love it. It really is such a taste thing. I feel like lip colors like this, especially on someone with my skin color, it really is a taste thing. Cause yeah, I'll be curious to read your guys' comments, but I do need to powder my face. I don't really oh i have this essence my skin perfector powder i don't think i meant to try this in my um trying new essence makeup video did i end up trying this i don't think i did but if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out it's full face of essence some freaking underrated hidden drugstore gems and all of it's like under 10 bucks really i think it's like under eight or seven bucks awesome awesome video full of hidden gems definitely check it out 
So we're gonna set the under eye with this and hope it does a decent job. That looks nice, wow. Look how much more blurred it looks under there versus without. Oh my gosh. Powder is crazy. It can look so good and so bad, you know? <laughs> it could really go either way. So much better. Wow, okay, essence. So I feel like we're looking pretty good. I, uh, I mean, you know, we're looking all right. <laughs> uh, let me find a highlighter though, because I really didn't put one on, did I? Let's use this. This is the Revolution Bright Light Highlighter. There we go. I usually just get a little bit. Oh, why is that so dry? I guess I should get some fresh fresh juice. Oh boy, it looks a little stripey. Mm, it looks okay. The one big downside about this packaging is it gets so messy. By the way, in my brows, I use the Essence Make Me Brow, if you were curious. I'm just gonna put a little bit more. Okay, I feel like we are ready for date night. Not too bad. I mean, considering some of these products I was really unsure about. So going back through, I think the thing that was my favorite that we tried, let me kind of look. I'm gonna count the Essence Powder in this because I don't think I had tried it before. Oh, I forgot this Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. This is another thing I actually bought and it just, it I never grabbed it for a video because I don't often use setting spray unless I really feel like it makes a difference like the Charlotte Tilbury one does. Oh, definitely has a little bit of a smell. Had a good mister on it though, you know? I would say the things that I liked the most would be the eyeshadow, little quad, this lip color, I actually like, I think it's kind of different. It's outside of my comfort zone, but especially like, I don't even think it looks bad up close, but again, it's definitely a taste thing. So I could see some of you guys not liking it, but I like this formula. So if you have not tried this, the formula I already knew I liked, but if you've not tried this formula, it's definitely worth giving a look because they have so many different colors. I enjoyed so far this powder. I feel like it did a great job on my under eyes. So that was cool. And I was definitely surprised in more than one way by this foundation. It, it looks nice. I feel like it looks really good. I just, it doesn't have as much coverage as I expected, but it does look nice. But of course the big con is the smell in the packaging, but the smell. Things I'm not like dying to use again. Like I said, the L'Oreal Paradise, uh, Glow Paradise Lip and Cheek Tint, eh. The Neutrogena Radiant Primer Serum, I do think looks good, but it's just not the kind of primer I tend to gravitate towards. When I'm getting ready, it's just, I don't know. I, I'll probably try it a couple more times just to be sure, but I'm not like dying to use it again. I thought this looked pretty good. I just need to mess with it a little bit more. Mascara, again, I don't think it looks terrible. I think it looks really nice and natural, but not for everyone. And I think this is just, okay. The, and, and the natural finish, it looks pretty good. I don't think it made my skin look oily again. A lot of setting sprays when you'll spray them on, suddenly your face looks super greasy, you know what I mean? And this didn't do that, so that is nice. But again, I need to try this more than once to kind of determine really how I feel. So the main takeaway is the Milani lipsticks, yes. Hard candy palettes, yes. This essence powder, so far, yes. And maybe don't don't overlook the CoverGirl Clean if you can deal with the uh, smell. So I hope that was fun. That was, uh, honestly, it kind of felt good. I've kind of cleared out that drawer now. These were the last few things in there that I hadn't tried, and now I'll slowly, I'm sure, refill it with random things here and there. But it's nice to kind of get these last, like, bottom of the barrel, <laughs> back of the drawer type products and give them a try. So I hope you enjoyed this style of video. And like I said, if you do enjoy like drugstore makeup, I do these kinds of videos a lot. If you want to see more of them, I will link my drugstore makeup playlist if you want to binge some of those. I also do lots of vlogs here. I'd love for you to get to know me and my little family more. We live in the Midwest. I always feel like these are things I forget to share about because I just assume people have been watching for years, but of course that's not the case. We live in the Midwest. I'm married to Tyler. I have two little girls, a six month old and a four year old. Uh, we love Disney. We love to travel. We've got a doggy named Pinocchio. And yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say, but if you're into any of that or whatever, I'd love for you to check out our vlogs. Uh, I love you guys. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.